As you can see, it's lots of boxes because I've been having to unearth and archive and move a lot of stuff, so it's not the most aesthetically pleasing uh, looking thing at the moment. But this is just various MOAX archives, so, you know, everything from, you know, science fiction, the, sort of that's the, the, the gatefold version that we made, which was manufactured in Japan, which was like uh, persuading Universal to do that was like getting blood out of a stone, but we did it. What else have we got? Liquid Liquid, who, you know, went on to sort of be the big influence for, for, for um, labels like DFA and what sort of Tim Goldsworthy and, and James Murphy were doing, that whole punk, post-punk sound. I was just obsessed with, with the records that influence hip hop, the, the breaks and rare breaks and alternative um, labels and, and so ESG were very influential because they, uh, they did a record called um, No UFO which was sampled heavily by most classic hip-hop artists like Public Enemy. It's the kind of screaming siren that you hear in a lot of uh, late 80s, early 90s hip-hop records. And you know it was just, just, it was one of those records where it, another label, really interesting label, 99 Records, where they put out Liquid, Liquid ESG Sorry, Liquid Liquid put out Cavern, actually, which was sampled by um, Grandmaster Flash. You know, the, the digital highway has changed the dynamic of collecting records hugely. Part of it was the, the thing of trying, you know, there are there records that took 10 years, 15 years to be able to find, you know. That's kind of gone. If you want to go and listen to something or find something now, you can instantly do it. And that has taken, it did, you know, it, it definitely took the wind out of the sails for me. Um, and. I sort of, in many ways, I sort of <laughs> did a lot of what I wanted to do that was really important to me at the time, and things have changed, and music has changed, and, but I'm, I'm, you know, getting back into, into the archive and getting back into my, seeing my records, and because I haven't, you know, I haven't DJed with, re with vinyl for the last seven or eight years, um, it makes you realise how wonderful they are and you know something that I'd like to get back into um, but the idea of trawling around with three record boxes like one did 20 years ago is not something that appeals to me very much at all. This is the the 12 inch uh, Uncle 77 that we made with Medicom which was many many years in the making um, and this actually is a super super limited edition blue version of it in bathing eight camo with the addition we made was in was a, a green camouflage but not with the bathing ape insignia um, and uh, yeah it's basically based on the design by Futura and designed by uh, Ben Drury. We did a project with the artist Mark Gonzalez and the, probably the greatest skateboarder in the world so we made these priests with him all hand painted, I think a thousand of them. That was a that was a task. This, which was done by Stash for me, but he made it so it was LED. The lights, the eyes lit up, which we then made into a. Um, um, uh, we copied it, but without the without the LEDs. Cans like we did like this, which were done with um, with uh, bathing eight. Which inside the can there are toys, so you take. I think you take the top off of these ones. Yeah, so basically inside there would be a toy. These are prototype, basically, figures that were not painted. Something like here is interesting because it's just a box of all the original, original dats, basically, from the label. Most of the demos we set on cassette, so that's Rich Files original vocal on deck on cassette who I ended up doing Never Never Land with and, and, and um, War Stories. Andrea Parker album demo on cassette. A, you know a lot of them are also handwritten by the artists so it's quite interesting you know that it's not a format. Oh yeah like this for instance is amazing. That's the original that for Influx. There you go with hand graffitied you know 
pretty pretty dope. So that is where it all really kicked off, I would say. That record. That was the record that just kind of changed the game. Yeah, so lots of memories and lots of listening to do.